Hey guys, it's Brittany. So today we are going to be taking a few of these leaves here and we're going to be propagating new crepe myrtle trees. So we're going to be cleaning up some of the bottom, taking cuttings from those, putting them in the soil, and then I'm going to be doing an updated video that you guys can watch about one to two months from now on how they are doing. So stay tuned. Some of these roots are like really low down. Yeah, they are. They're like coming out the ground, not even touching the tree. Really? Yeah, they're like way out. Coming from one of the root things? Yeah. <gasps> Some of them are boo -boo. tiny, so I'm skipping over them. No way. All right. So what is it that you're doing? So I'm taking the flippies. Okay, buddy. One second. Off from around the bottom because we're going to propagate them. And so these, we don't want them on there anyway, so we might as well make them into new plants. Yeah. So, we're going to probably cut this, cut this to like here, because we don't really want this. It's not a good thing to use. Okay. And then we could probably make two cuttings out of this, so then each of these... I'm gonna do that too. Yeah. So. And we just put this in pots with dirt and that's it? So yeah, so you wanna take off these little leaves and make sure you take those off. But you cut right above a new leaf. Oh. And so you wanna keep at least one leaf on here. Two maybe, but. That's and you're making them about eight, eight inches long roughly, six to eight, yeah. is that kind of? Yeah, this is like on the small, I would say this one's on the smaller size. Yeah. Um, but this is a good size, maybe like eight inches. Yeah. And then we'll cut all these bottom leaves off. And so I'll show you what, it, when they're all cut off. Okay. Um, and then we'll stick them in the pot. And usually you'll put in like four in one pot. Oh. And then when they get bigger, you can transplant them. That's cool. Pots. So they all grow their own little roots. Yeah. And then that way you don't have to do like a bunch of soil for one little thing. Yeah. You know? So it just works out like that. Cool. Yeah. All right. So what is it that you did? Okay. So I wanted to get each of these about this big, maybe eight inches, six inches, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I cut right above a leaf. They call it a node. I cut right above that a straight cut. And then at the bottom, I have like a slanted cut right under one of the bottom leaves. And so now I want to take off the bottom leaves like this. And then since this has three right here, I'll just leave it. That's not, it's fine. So then I'm going to do that for all of these. Now we take these off because when you're first planting it, it has to create roots. So having so many leaves, the roots won't be able to take up enough water. So we want to only have a couple leaves so that it doesn't stress the plant out while it's trying to grow roots. Okay. So we're going to put these, probably four of them, in one pot just all stuck up like this just some regular soil I also saw that some people put it in wet sand we have not tried that maybe it's something we'll try in the future but yeah so we're gonna have quite a few baby crepe myrtles started maybe 10 to 15 so these leaves are tiny so they don't need as much water so I'm just gonna leave them on even though there's four unlike the bigger leaves. Makes sense. Cool. So we'll do this and then we'll update you guys when we're putting them in the pots. Propagating uh, some uh, crepe myrtles. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. So now I have these pots and I didn't fill them all the way up because I didn't have a full bag of soil but that's okay. So I have gotten all of them. I have pre-watered them before we get started. And then I sorted all of these by how tall they were because I had some that were really tall and then I had some that were really short because 
that crepe myrtle is new, so the growth on the bottom wasn't very long. So some of the ones just were naturally shorter. So the ones that are super tall, I'm gonna put less in that pot. So I'm just gonna stick them down in there a couple inches. And you wanna make sure you have the, the sliced part down and just set them in there like that. So we're gonna quickly do that. Try to space them out so that their roots don't grow together. Now once they're like this, it's going to take between four and eight weeks for them to develop a root system. And then once they have developed the root system, you, if you kind of pull up, there's gonna be resistance. So you're gonna know, okay, this is done what it's supposed to do or not. And another little thing is that these crepe myrtles specifically, they don't need rooting hormone. So just in case, you know, you have done this with other plants, you don't need rooting hormone with this because they're supposed to root very easily. So there you have it. Here are all of our little crepe myrtles. We, what is this? At least 16. I think 16 crepe myrtles. So we're gonna, we're gonna let coming, these buddy. continue to grow and then once they have roots, I'll make an updated video and show you guys how they're doing. Thank you for tuning in and please comment, like, and subscribe and all that stuff. Bye for now.